Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to create some tutorial about how to showing the list of the countries in the world and after that, after we choose the countries a uh, country, uh, I want to show another drop down that uh, can be able to showing the cities uh, from that uh, chosen country so this is the, the running version, the demo so uh, first one we can choose uh, or we can showing the list of the countries and after that after i choose one of the country uh, i i need or i want to retrieve the cities from that country so uh to build these things i'm using uh two endpoints from internet first one to retrieve the list of the cities this is the URL and the method is get you just need to set up for the headers and after that uh, just uh, try to hit the app the API and you will uh, get the response and in this case, I just uh, save for the name fields because I just want to showing the name. And after that, the second API is to get the cities from uh, some countries. Uh, the method is pause and uh, we need to set up the body body like this the parameter is country and also you need to set up for the headers and uh, I set up one of the variable to be using uh, to the body and if you try to hit the API you will be get this uh, response and I have one of the response which is the data and after uh, you have saved this to endpoints I am uh, add some add to to drop down the first one I set up for the query from API call and just choose the get countries API the first one the first one API and for the properties you just need to parsing the response with the adjacent body predefined path and choose the country name this is the path that uh, I have saved before and for the second the second drop down this is a little bit different the first one, uh, like the the like the first drop down, uh, we can set up for the query from the API call and just the get cities. And as you can see, uh, we need to set up the parameter. And for the parameter, I get from the drop down value, the first drop down value. But uh, sometimes uh, some countries. Uh, don't have the city uh, database uh, so uh, for the value or for the option I set up uh, some condition if the response is success succeed equal true so I am showing the response from the sub uh, path that I have uh, said before but if the response is uh, not success I am showing the uh, the, the value that uh, telling the city is empty so for example I think um, for this country uh, we don't have uh, the, da the data from the API and to showing this empty 
first I create some page stat with this value and I manually add this string don't forget to check its list and I also create some condition to showing this drop down only when the first drop down is set okay so everyone I, I will uh, making this project uh, public and will put the link uh, to to be called to to your project uh, so uh, you can be able easily uh, see this uh, the top of the project this is a simple simple project so uh, thank you uh, for watching my video uh, don't forget to comment uh, if you don't understand something and yeah bye bye